All right, YouTube, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the vlog. Well, today technically will not be like a vlog today. I kind of want to do something a little different since I wasn't really able to vlog at all this weekend. And of course, I vlog today as I usually do, but I don't like doing same day vlogs. And so what I've vlogged even today will just get uploaded tomorrow in instead anyways. Um, so what I actually want to do today, throughout the last couple months that I've been on YouTube, people have asked me a bunch of questions everywhere on every single video. I attended like trying to answer them through my videos throughout the year. There are a lot of questions that I haven't been able to answer. So I figured what better time to do a Q&A than right now. Right, so I got a bunch of questions on here and I'm gonna try to answer them as much as I can within 10 minutes. Here we go. Let's start this video. Question number one, Levi, the guy that I actually hung out with in LA who became a programmer within his own company. Um, he said, Chris, uh, have you ever considered spoken word poetry? Um, and, I, and he said this after he saw me do some my freestyle on my, I think my last video. If you don't know this, I used to actually write a lot of music a long time ago. I used to be a rapper. Um, that was actually one of my aspirations a long time ago. But the, one of the reasons that I stopped even like stopped writing music was simply because I fell in love with Counter-Strike and World of Warcraft and all these dumb things that distracted me. So I, I stopped going into it, but I have been writing music and rapping for about 13 years now. If you don't know, yes, that's me. I mean, I'm a rapper. <laughs> I do my very best to make sure I don't do any gaming even now because as I'm growing this channel and as I'm coding and all these things in my life that's really busy, the one thing that will set me back and stop me for sure is gaming. So no more gaming for me. All right, next question. Okay, uh, Sean Cusseter is asking this. He said, which camera do you use? It was hard to tell when you showed it. The camera that I use is a Canon EOS 80D. It's about $1,100 camera. The lens I use is an $800 lens, which is, is the um, Sigma 18-35 millimeter with a constant 1.8 f-stop which is insanely amazing meaning as you can tell behind me the background's blurry but whatever isn't this distance from the camera is perfectly sharp and everything and it's amazing and that's what I use I use a Rode video mic pro for the audio I was using the shirt I actually have oh, ouch I hurt my back in that one that was dumb Ah, oh, that hurt I have the shirt mic is the first mic that I actually used it's just it's too high-pitched I just feel like the sound quality, there's more volume when I use this Rode mic. It's, I like this one better. So this is what I use for recording. Um, I use my MacBook Pro to edit videos and I use Premiere Pro. Next question. All right, from Jin, from Jin. And Jin says, how do you discipline yourself to get your work learning done even though you feel tired? Very good question, because um, this happens all the time. Uh, not as much anymore since I've gone vegan. <laughs> but I used to be tired all the time, sleeping late, working late nights. I used to edit videos, three in the morning, two in the morning all the time. I don't do that anymore. I just edit when I find free time, uh, when I'm not doing anything like my lunch breaks or just early in the morning. I'm not a late night person. But what do I do to get work done even though I feel um, pretty tired is that I walk around. Uh, I'll eat fruits <laughs> nowadays. But when I feel tired, I'll just walk around, talk to Tony, which is my um, technical manager, go to his desk and talk to him or talk to other developers. Sometimes I'll read blogs and just listen to loud music. If that doesn't work, I'll just take a 10 minute break and take a nap in my car. And that's what I do. But I have to get it done. You can't just let, you know, like for example, right now, I'm not gonna lie. I did not feel like doing a video today. I did not want to vlog today. I did not feel like doing a Q&A video. But I had to put in the effort because if I just act upon like how I feel and which is I'm always tired <laughs> then to be honest I will never get things done. What I'm learning is that I can't act upon just how I feel every day and if that was the case I wouldn't get done what I get done now in regards to work, in regards to things of church, um, even with my channel or learning code within itself. Because so unless I'm sick, when I'm sick, oh I'm weak. <laughs> Good question, man. Next one. Waldo Mac, this guy, man, this is, he's the most straightforward guy I have that follows me on YouTube and all my videos. He's super straightforward. He'll compliment me or he'll say something really mean to me or he'll say something really nice to me and I'll see him attack other people like crazy. It's insane, man. I, I consider him like the black mamba of YouTube. <laughs> I never want to mess with this guy. <laughs> so when he leaves a comment, whatever it is, I just, I leave it alone. <laughs> but uh, So he asked his uh, honest question, which was, um, how's the no, cause I'm, as you know, I'm a vegan now. He asked, how's the no caffeine thing going and have you had many side effects? Headaches. The reason I don't depend on caffeine anymore is I have so much more energy. I eat a lot more healthy. I actually tried potato chips today, Pringles, and it wasn't baked, it was a fried ones, and I wanted to throw up. I, I just felt so unhealthy, and I felt like 
the, this food I put on my body was not good for me at all. And so like, it was kind of like, it took me about two or three weeks to get off caffeine and I started drinking Monster. And so yeah, I don't feel any side effects from giving up Monster or energy drinks or coffee. And I, it feels great because I don't depend on that anymore. Now when I feel sleepy, I just get drink fruits, I'll drink ice cold water or I'll drink my favorite Diet Coke. <laughs> all right. Next one. All right, all right. So, Kaya Jones, he's someone who's actually been following me, I think, from the way beginning. Uh, I believe you're like what, 14, right, Kaya? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, but he says, Hey, Chris, happy Sunday. This was from three weeks ago. He says, What do you think about Java and Python? I used to hate on Java a lot, big time. I used to really hate on Java and Python. But in regards to Python, I can't say anything about it because I don't know much about it, but Java is still pretty huge. And I used to say I don't like Java, and I still don't, right? I still don't. I don't even know it, but I don't want to learn Java because I remember the first time I tried to learn code like three or four months ago, three to four months before I learned a treehouse, Java was like, what the heck is this? It was a programming language that I did not understand. It's the first language I tried to study. I didn't like it. But Java is really important to learn to help you get a job in this industry. If you know Angular, if you know Java, and of course you know JavaScript pretty well with HTML, CSS, you will get a job. I mean, it's still that important and it's still needed in this industry now. Next question. All right, from Kevin Beal from three weeks ago and he asked this, Chris, have you ever cooked a meal? Um, I've seen more footage of you eating out than anything. Love the videos, they are produced really well. Just about to finish the front-end developer track in Treehouse, do you think I should move to full stack JavaScript or try something different like PHP? Okay, good question. So do I ever cook a meal? No, I don't. I just eat fruits, I eat vegetables, and I microwave them when I'm at work. I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at work, and if I'm done at work and I didn't eat any dinner or something, I'll get Chipotle at night for dinner, and I'll eat the leftovers, half of it for breakfast the following day. I don't really cook, I'm never home, and I just eat a lot of fruits now. That's really how I go on throughout my day. So no, I never cook, I don't, and I should. I'll save a lot more money, but to be honest, I'm already saving a lot of money. Um, okay. Then he asked this, he said he's about to finish a front-end developer track on Treehouse and he said, do you think that I should move to full-stack JavaScript or should try something like PHP? Good question. I generally think that you should first learn full-stack JavaScript. JavaScript is a very hard language to learn and in that track, you will learn Node.js. You will, I believe they hit, get a touch of jQuery and Angular as well. I think you should do that. But after that, I do genuinely believe that you should move to PHP. But if, while you're learning full-stack JavaScript, maybe before you hit PHP, get into Angular or get into, oh my gosh, React and that will help you get a job today and then go to PHP. That is what I fully, that's what I highly recommend for me if I was to start over again. Mo Hussein from three weeks ago says, do you have to be really good at math to learn HTML and CSS? No, you do not need to be good at math at all, but you need to be a good logical thinker. Uh, and actually, no, not even, you don't have to be good at any of that. Basic math, I think it's good to be good at basic math in regards to anything in life in general, but in the programming, yes. But I just think you need good logic. And how do you practice having, how do you, he says how to practice to have better logic and understanding. I think you just have to start, you just start building things. Um, you know, I, I personally hated the word problem, solving problems in school when I was in middle school and high school and college. But what really helped now, like I, I'm able to think critically fairly easy now and I'm able to solve a lot of problems even at work now. Mainly because I work with it so much. So how do you, you build this way of logically thinking? I don't think anyone's like naturally good at thinking logically. I don't think that's natural. I don't think that's logical to think that way. It, maybe there are, okay, but it's not me. But the way I built it is just by solving problems and building and failing and being stressed out and wanting at times to like, you know, I sometimes I just want to like, like throw this computer to the wall because it's so frustrating sometimes. Why is it not working? Why does it work on Safari and Mozilla Firefox and Chrome, but it doesn't work on Internet Explorer? And why are people still using Internet Explorer 6? It makes no sense, <laughs> you know? Why are people still using Internet Explorer in the first place? It is done, right? Uh, those things can get frustrating. So it's just practice, man. That's my personal suggestion. All right, that is it. There are more questions on here, but I think I've talked for a long time already. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end the video here. You know what? I actually want to do more Q and A's. If I could do a Q and A every single week, as you know, I used to do live videos. I don't do them as much anymore because it doesn't work for my phone for some reason. Um, I want to do a Q and A video, which is a lot easier for me because I don't have to vlog my entire day to do this. So, if you have any more questions you want me to answer, leave in a comment below. And if I'm gonna answer on the next video or Q and A video, I'll make sure to heart that comment so you know to watch out for that on the next video. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end the video here. This is Chris Sean. This is a Life of a Developer. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment below. And thank you for watching. And I'm out. Peace.
I've been running around in circles for so long 